Welcome to my channel Cyber Network. Imagine a vast invisible ocean surrounding us carrying digital information at the speed of light. This is the world of Wi-Fi, a technology that has become as essential as air and water in our modern lives. Just like sound waves travel through the air, Wi-Fi signals travel through the electromagnetic spectrum, connecting our devices to the internet. These signals, however, are not immune to interference. Just as a pebble can disrupt the smooth surface of a pond, certain devices can disrupt the flow of Wi-Fi signals, creating a jam that prevents devices from connecting. This is the essence of Wi-Fi jamming. Understanding how Wi-Fi jamming works is crucial in today's interconnected world. By understanding the tools and techniques used by malicious actors, we can better protect ourselves and our data from this invisible threat. Termux is an Android app that acts like a portable Linux environment. Imagine it as a virtual toolbox filled with powerful tools, accessible right from your smartphone. While Termux itself is not inherently malicious, its flexibility and power make it a popular choice for both ethical hackers and those with less noble intentions. One of Termux's key features is its ability to access and control the underlying hardware of your Android device, including the Wi-Fi chipset. This capability, combined with its vast library of downloadable software packages, transforms Termux into a potential weapon for Wi-Fi jamming. In the wrong hands, Termux can be used to launch a variety of attacks, from sniffing network traffic to completely disabling Wi-Fi networks. It's like giving someone the keys to a high-performance car. In the right hands, it can be a powerful tool, but in the wrong hands, it can be dangerous. While the specifics can get technical, the basic principle behind Wi-Fi jamming using Termux is surprisingly straightforward. Imagine a mischievous child shouting loudly in a library, disrupting everyone's ability to concentrate. Wi-Fi jamming operates on a similar principle, flooding the airwaves with noise that drowns out legitimate Wi-Fi signals. Step 1 involves installing specific packages within Termux that provide the necessary tools for manipulating network traffic. These packages, often freely available online, are the digital equivalent of the Jammer's toolkit. Next, the attacker uses Termux to put their device's Wi-Fi chipset into a special mode that allows it to transmit raw radio signals, essentially turning the device into a makeshift radio transmitter. Finally, the attacker unleashes a barrage of noise on the targeted Wi-Fi frequency, effectively blocking legitimate devices from connecting. This noise can be continuous or intermittent, making it even harder to diagnose and mitigate. Imagine walking into your favorite coffee shop, eager to connect to the Wi-Fi and get some work done, only to find that your device can't seem to establish a connection. While there could be many reasons for this, Wi-Fi jamming is a possibility that should not be ignored. One of the telltale signs of a jammed Wi-Fi network is a sudden and persistent drop in signal strength. If you're usually able to connect to a network with a strong signal, but suddenly find yourself struggling to get even a weak connection, it could be a sign of interference. Another red flag is the inability to connect to a network that you know is active. If other devices are able to connect but yours isn't, it could be a sign that your device is being specifically targeted. Finally, keep an eye out for unusual network activity, such as slow speeds, frequent disconnections, or devices connecting and disconnecting erratically. While these issues can have other causes, they can also indicate a jamming attempt. Section 5. Shielding Your Wi-Fi – Tips for Protection while the prospect of Wi-Fi jamming might seem daunting, there are several steps you can take to protect yourself and your network from this invisible threat. Just as we lock our doors and windows to deter burglars, we can implement security measures to safeguard our Wi-Fi. One of the simplest yet effective steps is to use a strong and unique password for your Wi-Fi network. This makes it significantly harder for attackers to gain unauthorized access to your network and launch attacks. Next, consider enabling network encryption protocols like WPA2 or WPA3, which scramble data transmitted over your Wi-Fi network, making it much harder for attackers to intercept or manipulate. Finally, stay informed about potential vulnerabilities in your router's firmware and install updates promptly. Manufacturers often release updates that patch security holes, so keeping your router up to date is crucial for maintaining a secure network. Section 6. The Ethics of Wi-Fi Jamming while the technical aspects of Wi-Fi jamming are fascinating, it's crucial to remember that this technology occupies a moral gray area. Just like any tool, Wi-Fi jamming can be used for good or evil, and its ethical implications depend largely on the intent behind its use. 
In some cases, Wi-Fi jamming can be justified. For example, law enforcement agencies might use jamming techniques to disrupt criminal activity or prevent the detonation of remote-controlled explosives. Similarly, some educational institutions and businesses use jamming to prevent cheating during exams or to enforce productivity policies. However, using Wi-Fi jamming for personal gain or to disrupt others without justification is unethical and potentially illegal. Imagine a disgruntled neighbor using a jammer to disrupt your internet access simply because they dislike your taste in music. Such actions are not only inconsiderate but can also have serious consequences. Section 7. Legal Consequences of Wi-Fi Jamming The legal ramifications of Wi-Fi jamming can vary significantly depending on the jurisdiction and the intent behind the jamming. In many countries including the United States, intentionally interfering with radio communications, including Wi-Fi signals, is a federal crime. The severity of the penalties can range from hefty fines to imprisonment, depending on the severity of the offense. For example, using a jammer to disrupt emergency communications or air traffic control systems could result in severe criminal charges. It's important to note that even possessing or selling jamming devices without proper authorization can be illegal in some areas. If you're unsure about the legality of Wi-Fi jamming in your area, it's always best to err on the side of caution and consult with legal counsel. Remember, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Section 8. Advanced Wi-Fi Security Measures Beyond the basic steps of using strong passwords and enabling encryption, there are more advanced measures you can take to further fortify your Wi-Fi network against jamming attempts. These measures are particularly relevant for businesses, organizations, or individuals handling sensitive information. One such measure is implementing a Wireless Intrusion Prevention System, or WIPS. Think of a WIPS as a vigilant security guard for your Wi-Fi network, constantly monitoring for suspicious activity and automatically taking action to neutralize threats, including jamming attempts. Another advanced technique is utilizing directional antennas for your Wi-Fi access points. Unlike omnidirectional antennas that broadcast signals in all directions, directional antennas focus the signal in a specific direction, reducing the area of vulnerability to jamming. Finally, consider implementing network segmentation, which involves dividing your network into smaller, isolated subnetworks. This limits the impact of a successful jamming attack, as only the targeted segment will be affected leaving the rest of the network operational. Section 9. The Future of Wi-Fi Security As technology continues its relentless march forward, the landscape of Wi-Fi security is constantly evolving. New threats emerge, old ones resurface, and the battle between attackers and defenders continues. One area of focus for future Wi-Fi security is the development of more sophisticated jamming detection and mitigation techniques. Imagine a future where your Wi-Fi router can not only detect jamming attempts but also automatically adjust its frequency or power output to circumvent the interference. Another promising area is the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning to identify and thwart Wi-Fi attacks in real time. AI-powered security systems can analyze network traffic patterns, learn to recognize anomalies, and automatically take action to block suspicious activity. The future of Wi-Fi security will likely involve a combination of advanced technologies, proactive security measures, and increased awareness among users. Section 10. The Importance of Responsible Technology Use Just as we have a responsibility to wield physical tools with care, we also have a responsibility to use technology responsibly and ethically. This responsibility extends to the realm of Wi-Fi and the tools that can be used to manipulate it. It's crucial to remember that Wi-Fi jamming, while potentially harmful in the wrong hands, is not inherently evil. Like any technology, it can be used for good or bad, and the ethical implications lie in the intent and actions of the user. As we become increasingly reliant on Wi-Fi for communication, work, and entertainment, it's our collective responsibility to use this technology responsibly, ethically, and with respect for the privacy and security of others. Let's strive to create a digital world where Wi-Fi is a force for good, connecting us and empowering us, rather than a tool for disruption or harm. Section 11. Conclusion. Navigating the Wireless World. We've journeyed through the invisible ocean of Wi-Fi, explored the potential for disruption through jamming, and examined the tools and techniques used to protect ourselves. Just as sailors rely on their knowledge of the sea to navigate safely, we must equip ourselves with knowledge and awareness to navigate the wireless world securely. Remember Wi-Fi security is not a destination, 
but an ongoing journey. As technology evolves, so too will the threats and the countermeasures. By staying informed, implementing best practices and using technology responsibly, we can all contribute to a safer and more secure wireless future. Let us strive to use the power of Wi-Fi to connect, to learn, to create and to build a better future for all. If you like my video please subscribe and share my channel, Cyber Network.